Hello, this is Mr. Bryce, and I'd like to talk a little bit about scatter plots and lines of best fit, specifically how to do them on the TI-84. So uh, first things first here is we need to turn something on so that we can uh, talk about something later on. So you're not going to have to do this more than this one time. So after you do this, you'll never have to do it again. Uh, we have to turn on the diagnostic. So where that is, is you go second catalog, second zero, and then way down here, uh, you can just press this and it will go to the D's. Uh, you want diagnostic on. So you go to the D's and it is right there. So you hit enter, it will copy and paste it. Hit enter again and it will say done. Uh, what that does is it turns on a couple uh, more pieces of information about uh, finding lines of best fit, which is something we're going to do a little later on. So what we want to do is make scatter plots of things. And what a scatter plot is, is it's a picture of a bunch of data points. Say I've got uh, data that's correlated. So you have X's and Y's and each x corresponds with some y. Let's say your data is uh, height over time. So let's say at time one something is four feet tall, or at time two you're four feet six or something like that. I don't know, I'm just coming up with them. Uh, what we can do is draw a picture of that, kind of very similar to in algebra class how you might have drawn a function. So the first thing we need to do is enter the data in here if we want to draw this scatter plot. And that's just in stat edit, how you've already seen. I've already got some data in here. If you want to pause this and uh, enter it in your own TI-84. Uh, I just came up with this data. This is just a bunch of data points. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 3, 8, 6. They don't have to be in order. These happen to be in order. Uh, you just need every X to correspond to this one. So these are your points. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 3, 8, 6. If we want a picture of this, uh, that's in stat plot. Same thing we did last week. So second stat plot. This first plot, before we were doing box and whisker plots, right? So we're going to hit enter and change the kind of plot. And this time we want a scatter plot, which is the first one of these. So hit enter, it'll toggle it to that. Uh, these are our two lists, so our X's in our, are in L1, our Y's are in L2. And again, you can have it whatever uh, shape you want for your dots. So there is our scatter plot. And if we want to graph this, remember hit Y equals. Make sure your plot is turned on. Uh, remember, you can go up here, hit enter, and toggle it on and off. Remember, normally you want this turned off in case you're in another class or something. And uh, to get the scatter plot, you just go zoom stat like we've seen before. And here is a picture of our data. So you see 1, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, 5, right? All of these, yeah, all these data points are just a picture of what we saw here uh, in our list, right? So, uh, yeah, so there's our picture. There's our scatter plot, and each one of those points corresponds to one of those data points. Now, Something that we would like to do is describe what this data does. And you can kind of see what's happening here is kind of as X is getting bigger, these are kind of getting bigger. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not perfectly uh, increasing this whole time, but it kind of there looks like there's a trend that it's increasing. What we would like to do is come up with a linear function, that is a straight line, that kind of describes what's happening here. And uh, to do that, we need to find what's called line of best fit. Now, there's a whole bunch of lines that you can draw through the middle of this, but only one of them misses all of these points by the least amount. And that line is the line of best fit. Here's how you can find it, is uh, quit out of here, and uh, again, we're going to go into stat calc, which is where most of our stuff is done. 
Only this time, instead of going one of our stats, we're going to go down to this. This is linear regression, and that is the process of doing this. That's the process of finding a line of best fit. It's called linear regression. Uh, if you took cal uh, college algebra with me or at, uh, someone else here at NFCC, you've probably already seen this because we talk about it in there. So uh, hit enter, it copies and pastes it. And what it'll do is it'll give you a line here. So here our line is y equals ax plus b, a is 0.6, and b is 1.2. So this line is y equals 0.6x plus 1.2. These r's represent how good of a line that is. Or in other words, how much of a linear relationship there is. This number ranges from negative 1 to 1, this r right here. And uh, r being positive means that there's a positive correlation between these two variables, between x and y. r being negative means there's a negative correlation. And the closer this number is to 1 or negative 1, like I said, the better of a line we have. Here our r is 0.84, which isn't very big. Uh, I mean, it could be bigger. So we have a decent correlation here, uh, but it's not perfect. Uh, what we can do is we can actually graph this line. All right? So let's go back to our uh, y equals here, and let's actually graph this line it gave us. 0.6x plus 1.2. Now, if we graph it on the same picture, Notice that this not line is not perfect. In fact, it only looks like it goes through maybe one of those points. But the idea is that this line is the only line that misses each of these points by the smallest distance. Any other, any other line is going to miss these by more than this one does. And we can actually use this line uh, to... One, talk about this data. It's a model for this data. So let's say if this was in, uh, say, physics context, uh, you have a bunch of these data points, and then you can get a model for what happened. Um, we can also use this model to talk about, say, what happened in between here, or what's going to happen in the future, or what did happen in the past. We can kind of extend this trend. Uh, so again, this is how you get a scatter plot I talked about earlier. I showed you how to get a line of best fit. And this line is the line that misses all of these by the uh, least distance. Uh, and you can use that to model things that you might see in the book. And uh, also, uh, yeah, to kind of interpolate and extrapolate uh, what is going to happen or what happens in the middle or what happened in the past. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, password for this week's video quiz right down here in the annotations. Uh, so make sure you have those turned on so you can see it. Uh, if you have any questions on this, as always, uh, make sure you let me know. Uh, and I will see you in class on Friday. Make sure you talk to me before that.